Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday morning. Guys, it's Friday. I, ho I hope you guys are having a great morning so far. So this morning, we, got, we are going to revisit the dimmer mod, okay, on your Bravo Brista Express. So, uh, if you are thinking about doing it on your Bravo Brista Express, so this is good video to watch, okay? Make sure uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, again, if you're new to the channel, welcome to daily live streaming. We go live pretty much every single day, unless something comes up. But yeah, I usually go live between 8 and 10, okay? 8 and 10 a.m. I, I like to go around 8 o'clock, but if something happens, but it's definitely before 10. So anyway, uh, by the way, if you haven't entered the DF64 grinder giveaway, make sure to do so, okay? Uh, the, uh, the giveaways, we are going to uh, kind of like the entries go through February 26th, and then we're going to do the drawing on 27th. Uh, and by the way, we have another giveaway coming up uh, first thing tomorrow morning. I just got a package from San Anthony Industry last night, so I'm going to put it together a nice uh, kind of like pour over kit. Comes with a hand grinder, uh, their kettle. Their pro over kit, so I'm, I'm gonna set up a very nice setup for you guys. So, we're gonna give away that one as well. Uh, I think it's starting tomorrow. And so, this time we are going to open up to not only US, Canada, Australia, UK, and maybe another countries. So, okay, we, we are going to open up even more than this time, and then maybe one after we go worldwide. Okay, okay, so Dimarma. So, why you want to use Dimarma? As you guys know. Brista Express comes with a 14 bar pressure, okay, which means whatever you guys are using, let's say, bottomless port filter. So in the beginning, you're going to see the beautiful shot coming out, and to the end, you're going to see a lot of kind of like channeling, okay, you're going to see kind of a lot of channeling going on, usually toward to the end. So with a dimmer mod, uh, you can control the power of the pump, and you can slow down the pump pressure. So it works really good. So, but most of us, I've been playing for the last two months. So this is the demo mod I just took out. I've been using it for the last few months. I really enjoy it, using it, but I realized something, okay? I realized that, actually how many of you out there, uh, you need this to make great coffee in the morning? Unless you are into to like espresso, so this one does help, okay, which means you can do like pressure profiling, kind of, okay. You can do something like that. You can uh, pull the great bottomless, you know, portafilter shot. Um, if you are into like, again, it's very handy. Cost about six bucks. But you know what, let me show you, okay. Let, let me give you, give you guys close up. I mean, if you're looking at this, it looks somewhat scary to open things up, but <clears throat> it's not too bad overall. So we have a various screws. Uh, if you guys are curious about it, I do have video on that, okay? Make sure to check out my video, but I mean, very simple. Uh, uh, unscrew about like total of like nine or 10 screws there. Un un unhook the, this wire from the uh, that part, hold on, right, uh, so that one, you, you might want to remove it. <clears throat> Here, let me show you guys. The key thing is the, so here's the pump, the wire going in right there, okay, the two wires, simply unhook the one of them, relay that to your dimmer mod, and that's it, very, uh, comes to <clears throat> difficulty, one through 10, you are looking at around like four, three or four, it's not that hard. But hard part is the removing the, this plastic portion in the bottom portion. So this is tricky, okay? Uh, make sure to check out my video if you guys are thinking about doing it. Other than this, overall process is very simple. Okay, if you have a warranty on your machine, don't mess with it, okay? Do not mess with if you have a warranty on your coffee machine. Hold on, so, so here's a grinder there. 
as you can see, very simple. It's all plastic. Solenoid, uh, solenoid. Yep, comes to. So there is a pump is sitting right there. Okay, so that's the pump right there. So. I mean, if you have any issues with your coffee machine, the fixing is not too bad, okay? Pretty easy to fix. But again, uh, you know what? Uh, <clears throat> let me know in the comment section, okay? How many of you are actually thinking about doing upgrading your coffee, you know, kind of upgrade to like dimmer mod on your Bravo Barista Express? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Hold on, by the way, if you are new to the channel, just make sure to join the live chat. We have a few people on. We have Dylan, we have Jackie, Ryan. Okay, and then Ryan asking me, what is your Bravo Beast Express grinder setting? Uh, Ryan, thank you for your question there. I mean, that is the most request uh, uh, question. Pretty much, the comes to grinder setting is very personal. Because your setting is not the same as mine. It all depends on the coffee beans. So um, if you're having a hard time, okay, if you have a hard time getting a good coffee, uh, you know what? Uh, follow me on Discord channel, okay? Uh, we have a great sports staff here at the Discord, and uh, we have a lot of robber experts. So uh, I think the Discord is a lot easier to share that with you, that information. So yeah. If you have any, having issues with your grinder setting, make sure to uh, message me, okay? Just let me know. I'm gonna put the Discord link, so free to join. It's really a lot of fun, okay? We have quite a few people watching from Discord right now. So, we got VTU. I've been thinking about doing it. And the, the thing is, I mean, if you are into milk-based drink, and if you are sharing your machine with your family members, I mean, I won't do it, okay? I'm gonna wait, wait a while, okay? Unless you are really into espresso. So, so, so here's the good, okay, so here's the type of person that really into espresso, okay? If you don't mind avoiding your warranty, and you are, you, you are pretty good with Kind of break things apart, okay? Break things apart and put everything back together. If you are the type of person, if you don't mind doing those, dimmer mod should be a good option for you guys. So it's about six bucks for these parts. Very inexpensive. Very simple to do it, okay? And then in reality, is you're not gonna hurt the machine. I've been using it for two months. I mean, it works pretty good. The only reason I'm getting rid of Dimmer Mod, I'm planning on taking this machine to home, okay? Because my, uh, my family use coffee machines, so they are using Bravo Barista Pro right now. So uh, take the Barista Express at home so they can use it. And I'm gonna bring back uh, Bravo Barista Pro here. And we are going to, you know, we are going to talk about that machine for in the next few weeks. Because so far, Express, I mean, it's been rock solid for over the years. So. I think, I, I think mo most of you have the Express, so I don't know, uh, uh, you know what? How many of you actually have a uh, Bravo Barista Pro at home? Okay, let me know in the comment section, because if you have Pro, you know, I won't recommend uh, doing the dimmer mod on your Bravo Barista Pro, but if you have Express, if you're really passionate about coffee, it might be a good option, but 99% of you, you may not need this, okay? You may not need this. So yeah, let me know, okay? Let me know if you are thinking about doing it in the next uh, couple of weeks. Let me know, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions or comments, let me know as well. Okay, let's see, BTU has a Bravo Barista Touch, okay? Man, you know, I wanna do it if I were you because the Touch has a lot of uh, electrical, parts inside or the LCD screen. Yeah, I mean, goodness. I mean, if you're gonna do it, let me know, okay? Let me know. 
Uh, you know what? Uh, make sure to join the, our Discord chat too. All right. Uh, you got the Dogman22, Lance uh, Hendrick, he did mod it. He's a uh, Bravo Brewster Pro. Man. I'm not sure. Yeah. You know what? I mean, if you have Pro, no, I won't touch it. Okay. I mean, that's my opinion. But you know what? I mean, if you are really like your coffee, if you want to play, play with the pressure profiling, perhaps, you, you might want to, sure. But no. I mean, I like my machine. Okay. I like my machine. Let's see here. I think we have. I know Ryan, uh, the Dogman22 is really big fan of, I can see, uh, big fan of Dimarma there. Okay, okay so, so here's compromise. Okay, here's compromise. If you don't want to open up your coffee machine, that's fine. Okay, I hear you. Check out, go to Amazon. Okay, I think we talked about this a couple of days ago. Uh, they have, it's called a fan speed controller. Okay, here, let me show you what that is. Fan speed controller. So this is a fan speed controller right here. So this one kind of like act as dimmer mod. Works pretty good. Okay, that works fantastic. I know quite a few people are using it right now as we speak. They're very happy with it. So yeah, so this one kind of like act as a dimmer mod, okay? So before, if you are thinking about doing dimmer mod, uh, check out the fan controller, okay? Check out the fan controller for sure. So, and if you love the fan controller, guess what? I mean, dimmer mod even, even better. That works better than fan controller. But yeah, the fan controller works pretty good as well. Okay, so I think we are pretty good for Friday morning. Uh, I'm gonna be back, okay? I'm gonna put everything together right now. And then let's back in about a couple hours. Let's make some coffee. Let's play with a uh, little like Bianca this morning. I'm gonna be, uh, uh, let's play with some pressure profiling on little like Bianca, okay? Uh, and let's, uh, let's do it. All right, okay. Uh, hold on a second here. I think we are, I think our live chat is going on fine. Okay, again, uh, if you are interested in joining our Discord, uh, let me know in the comment section, okay? I mean, uh, because, because I don't want to be, we have about 300 members right now, so I, I don't want to be too big. I think three to 400 should be good size. We can have some very good time. Um, having some good coffee conversation there. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday morning and I'm going to see you guys pretty soon.